Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to transform ordinary white text into balls of fire. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Click on your type tool and click on your character text box. The font I've chosen is Celtic Garmon II, which you can download for free at defont.com. Click on the color box and choose white. Close your text windows and double click on the text to open up the layer style window. Click on outer glow, the blend mode is screen and the opacity is 75%. Click on the color box, choose a bright red and click OK. The size will be 10 pixels. Keep in mind, depending on the size and resolution of your text, you may want to use different numbers for your layer styles. Click on Color Overlay. The blend mode for this is normal. Click on the color box and choose a dark muted orange. I'm typing in CD7E2E. Click on Satin. The blend mode is Multiply and the opacity is 100%. The distance is 6 pixels and the size is 13. Click on the color box and choose a dark red-brown. I'm choosing 872D0F. Click Inner Glow. The opacity is 100% and the blend mode is Color Dodge. Click on the color box and choose a yellow ochre. I'm choosing E5C23B. We'll increase the size to 9 pixels. Click on the New Layer button and press shift as you click on the text. We'll merge these two layers by pressing Control or Command E. Go to Filter and Liquify. The Liquify window will open. I'm choosing a brush size of 17, the density is 50 and the pressure is 100. Click on the Zoom tool and magnify up the text. Click on the Forward Warp tool and brush over the edges of each letter to create a subtle fire-like distortion. When you're done, click OK. I'm calling up a fire document that I downloaded for free from cgtextures.com. Press Ctrl or Command A to select the entire image and Ctrl or Command C to copy it. Click on the tab to open up your fire text document and press Ctrl or Command V to paste the fire photo into it. Press Ctrl or Command T to call up your transform tool and Ctrl or Command 0 to fit the entire transform into your screen. Click inside the transform to reposition it and decrease the opacity to see the text under it. Click on a corner and hold down Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and then drag it in to reduce its size from the center. Press Enter or Return to accept it. Slide the opacity back to 100% and then press Ctrl or Command 0 to fit the entire image on your screen. Click on the Channels tab and click on the green channel. Press Ctrl or Command as you click on it to make a selection of its tonal values. Click back on the RGB eyeball and click on the Layers tab. Press Ctrl or Command J. This cut the fire using the selection and then copied it to its own layer. Hide the original fire photo and press V to call up your Move tool. Click and move on the image of the fire we just cut and copied from the photo. Move it to a position where the flames look good over some characters. For now, I'll focus on the H, the A, and the N. We're going to paint away the flames that aren't affecting these letters. Click on the Layer Mask button. Press B to call up your brush tool and make sure black is your foreground color. Now paint away all the flames except for only those parts that are waving around those letters. Press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy of the flames and click off the chain link and trash the layer mask. Now move this fire layer you'll retouch over other characters. Create a layer mask for this layer and repeat brushing away flames leaving just the ones you want. Continue this process of adding fire layers and then painting over their respective layer masks until you end up with every character ablaze with flames. 
For the final step, let's pump up the characters a little more. Click on the text layer to make it active, and then press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy. Drag this layer to the very top, and then change the blend mode to screen. Then reduce the opacity to 50%. Using these techniques, you can set any text ablaze with fire. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.